Now, my friends, let's greet uh, our special guest for tonight. He is a frequent, frequent visitor to our show simply because he is so much fun to have around. With a great deal of affection, we present Mr. Arthur Treacher. Excuse me for being nosy, but why are you sitting on that horse? Well, if I were up here without the horse, I'd look pretty preposterous, wouldn't I? <laughs> I suppose if you're so tall, I'm going to have to get a hand microphone. Excuse if you me. will. Yes. Yeah. Oh, All right. Now, uh, Arthur, did you bring a secret with you along with the horse? Yes, I'm delighted to tell it to you. As a matter of fact, my secret is that I'm going to give this horse to Henry Morgan. Whoa. <laughs> You mean actually give it to him in total as a gift? In total, yes. Well, yes. As a matter of fact, I'm delighted to do it. I'll tell you why. I'm so sick and tired of people saying that actors and people in the profession aren't good businessmen. Yes. You see? I want to prove to the people that they say also that you know professional men can't either wheel or deal, whatever that means. So you're going to give the horse to Henry, then what does he to then do with it? Well, my dear fellow, I want to find out if he's any good as a horse trader. Oh, he's going to get a chance to trade the horse. Yes. Yeah. Now, well, now, with whom or to whom? Anybody who's listening to this program tonight. Anybody at all, whether they're here anywhere. But I've got details of that later. All right. Now, listen. You heard what Mr. Treacher said. Get a pencil and paper because we're deadly serious about this. One of you out there in our audience is going to end up owning this horse if you can come up with something that's worthwhile Henry trading you for. So get a pencil and paper. We'll give you the details a little later on. And that's the secret, is that, the ju that you're simply giving Henry the horse. Well, that's a, a pretty good secret, isn't it? I would say so. All right, let's get the panel back in, please. There you are. You have a magnificent seat, if I may say so, Well, sir. sir, I didn't know you could see it. Have <laughs> <laughs> you spent a great deal of time in horsemanship, Arthur? Well, I've ridden a lot, my boy, yes. Here we go. You all know Arthur Treacher up here. Oh, of course, I know. <laughs> All right, now this, this secret concerns something that he is going to do. <laughs> Why, I mean, oh, I think it's wonderful. That's the greatest sight I ever saw in this show. <laughs> well, we'll go to Carol Burnett, I think, who is here in the absence of Beth Myerson. Carol, it's something he's going to do. <laughs> There's that unfortunate laugh again. <laughs> Are you going to jump? No. Uh, is the horse going to sit down? I hope not. <laughs> is this is something you're going to do on the horse? No. You're going to do it off the horse? No. Well, you're going to uh, do it halfway between yeah, 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 yeah. the horse. <laughs> well, at the very moment of con consummation of what he's going to do, he will be afoot. Is it a good horse? Speaks very well of you, dear. <laughs> yeah, does the horse belong to you? Yes, for, you? The, for, for certain purposes, uh -huh. yes. Twenty dollars down, sixty dollars to go, and we uh, go please to Bill Cullen. <laughs> I've known Arthur for years, and I can really guess this in one fell swoop. He's going to fall off the horse. <laughs> That isn't the uh, secret, oh boy. Well, although you might. <laughs> <laughs> um, Arthur, after you dismount, are you going to do something to the horse? Yes. Oh, for goodness sake. <laughs> rather, Arthur, shall we correct that to say with rather than to? You going right, to do with, something with, with the, horse. the horse? Yes. I see. Are you going to, for instance, with the horse? You wouldn't shoe the horse. because no. you're, you're going to make him a horse of another color. No. I'm going to put him in someone's bathtub. <laughs> $40 down, $40 to go. Betsy Palmer, you're on. Dear Pip, are you going to do this here tonight? Yes. Oh. Um, are you going to do something about, like, removing that saddle and uh, stirrups and things no. like that? You have a lasso on the side. Are you going to lasso somebody or something? No. <laughs> All right, we've lost $60. We have Henry Morgan between us and Oblivion. Henry? Oh, Arthur, is that a trick horse? No. Whoa. He's leaving. Is, uh... <laughs> now, now, it was established you're going to do something with the horse. Yes. Now, what does a man... 
All right, Henry, I think the best way for you to find out is if you will please come front and center out here, please. Yes, oh, stand approximately by me there. I have to turn the horse round because they begged me to uh, dismount on the other side. All right, we'll turn the horse round. Good night, folks. We're a little late. <laughs> all right. Yeah. It's all right. It's all right. Now, I have to get off the horse. Yes, all right. Thank you. Now, we'll, we'll hold, we'll hold the, the, the reins here, Henry, while Arthur dismounts. Now I dismount. Yes? Now. You come around here now. The horse is all yours, and what is do you uh, uh, supposed to do with it? Well, I'm going to give it to you, Henry, my dear oh. boy. <laughs> hey, Henry. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, wait a minute. Yeah. No, wait, no, wait. First, I want to know. Am I allowed to look in his mouth? Yes. But because afterwards. the gift horse... You must not look at it. You're not looking at it. Now, here are the reins. My dear Henry Morgan, this is your horse. <laughs> uh, <laughs> wait, wait a minute. I'm supposed to be a good talker. <laughs> well, Henry, before well, you ride off into the sunset... Uh, thanks a lot. <laughs> uh, thanks, Arthur. Uh, well, you know, thanks. I, I, well, Henry, I wish I had go. known I would have gotten a little something for you. <laughs> a herd of cows. Henry, <laughs> well, before there. you leave, well, there's a good point to it. Got a, don't worry about a thing. Let me assure you that this horse is a good home and a stable here in town, so he, you don't have to take him to your apartment. Arthur's actually giving you this as a gift in order to find out how good a horse trader you are. Now, some people think that performers have no business sense, that we don't know how to handle ourselves. You have an opportunity to prove or disprove this theory. Can I have a raise? <laughs> I'm asking you in front of America. Get off the oh, horse. Oh. No. no. Now, it all depends upon how screwed a trader you are, and we have some rules to read about this contest. Yes. Anyone who is watching this program tonight at any place in the United States or Canada is eligible to make Henry an offer. Now, if you want Henry's horse, and you have something to trade for it, and we're serious, this is what you do. Great horse. Great horse. Now, please. Do not send any money, do not send any letters, do not send any merchandise. Your offer for whatever you want to trade Henry for his horse I'm beginning to, to like him. Maybe postcard. I don't want to trade. Hey, postcards must be postmarked no later than midnight Friday, April the 28th, 1961. Now, Henry, you... And must be in our hands by Monday, May the 1st. May 1st is the deadline. Wait a minute. Oh. Henry, you are the sole judge. It's up to you to decide what you want to exchange for the horse. You will accept what you think is the best offer next week on this program. And now, Henry, if you'll get on your horse, there's a van waiting outside. If you'll ride him off, oh, he knows which side to get on. That's something. Yeah. Well, the well, I thought which side Arthur got off. <laughs> <laughs> Good one, Henry. Henry. You're getting on backwards. <laughs> I have the great pleasure to welcome Arthur to not only to tonight's show, but next Tuesday night we're going to be together on the variety show too. Rehearsal at 10 o'clock tomorrow morning. And don't be late. I'm sorry. <laughs> I know Bess thanks you for filling in for her. Thank you oh, so much, dear. Thank you. And Bill Cullen, you go on a two-weeks vacation, you lazy rat. I do that, and I am that. Have a good time. Thank you, Gary. And so, <laughs> goodbye out there. <laughs>